Well, Mark, as you know, this is an odd situation all the way around. This is a town surrounded by water on three sides, cut off by two international border crossings. And today, Washington Governor Jay Inslee blamed the Canadians for choking off this small town. Just how odd is the situation in Point Roberts? Washington's governor had to fly into a grass field and push back the plane before he heard any noise. Simply from the chamber standpoint, yes. the J&J &J solution, which is J and Joe, uh -huh. and they open the U.S. border side. Jay Inslee met with the town's residents in this rural exclave, cut off from the rest of the country. If we can't open the whole border, I think Point Roberts needs that exemption. We've got to have it. I don't know why we can't get it. It's the purpose of being here. I'm looking. The meeting was 16 months in the making. The point has watched its only businesses wither and homes go vacant as the pandemic dragged on. Normally there would be about three pallets of wine sitting here. Uh -huh. In fact, the owner of the only grocery store threatened to close until her appearance on King 5 led to an emergency grant from Inslee. We will keep in touch. I appreciate it. Yes. I appreciate it. Which and Allie Hayton thanked him for Robert's in person Robert's today. It took a long time. I mean, we've been, we've been talking for months and now we, I guess we finally started yelling and somebody started paying attention so it means a lot. But I also yeah. heard you say to the people of Point Roberts you think the issue is north of the border. I think it is my perception is that it is more of a federal government problem in Canada than it is in the at least in the British Columbia situation. Inslee, who has mandated strict COVID guidelines, says he's comfortable with allowing a partial reopening of the international border. And our vaccination rates are close enough now that there's not a huge difference either north or south. And so there's not a reason uh, for either north or south to fear the other. We should be able to do something where folks can come across the border. Washington Congresswoman Susan Delbene, whose district includes Point Roberts, says she's asked residents for badge numbers of Canadian agents who aren't allowing even essential trips and says she's pushing for the U.S. to relax restrictions for visiting Canadians here. What can we do uniquely to allow um, folks to come through if Canadians aren't requiring long-term um, quarantine when folks return. But until then, the plight of the point will drag on, unmoved below the 49th parallel. This was only the third time a Washington governor has ever visited Point Roberts as it stands right now. That joint agreement to close off any non-essential travel through the border will remain in effect through July the 21st. Back to you. So, Chris, it sounds like Inslee and Del Bene are not happy with Canada's federal government. It sounds like they're kind of pushing for a different solution. What would that be? Yeah, that's what we heard from them today, Mark. The idea that Canada did loosen up restrictions for vaccinated Canadians, meaning ending the 14-day quarantine. It's a little easier for Canadians. The thought is perhaps that it could be made easier for Canadians to come across the border south to Point Roberts, that having that allowance would perhaps open up business, bring some business back to this community that so desperately needs it. All right, King Five, Chris Daniels live in Point Roberts for us tonight. Chris, great job. Thank you.